Joining us in the Ben's Menu Kitchen again today is one of our friends from Bessemer. We have Teresa. Hi Ben. Are we pan roasting? Yes, we're doing roast potatoes on top of the stove with some rosemary and garlic and we're also going to be making some chicken in voltini today. I'm a pan roasting person. I love pan roasting. I've actually taught John the cameraman how to pan roast, but I normally go into the oven. Don't yeah. need to do that? No, don't need to do that because it's got, we have an oven effect. Anything on a Bessemer pan where you've got the lid, it gives you an oven effect yep. and you can cook anything on top of the stove. Cakes, pizzas, roast potatoes, you don't need to turn on your oven. So. Every time you come onto the show I learn something, so I'm hmm. happy about that. Alright, what's step one in making this dish? Alright, uh, we're going to use a little bit of um, the olive oil. Olive you don't oil. need oil in this, but because we're roasting potatoes, you've got to have a bit of oil in your roast potatoes. Yeah. So we just put a little bit of oil in there. Thank you. And then we've got some potatoes, potatoes. that have already been chopped up. And I can throw them in there. See how it starts to sizzle straight away? Yeah. The pan's nice and hot. We're going to put some garlic. Now it's best to use the whole piece of garlic because otherwise it'll burn in there if you chop it up too finely. Mm -hmm. Rosemary. Rosemary. Some salt. salt. Sprinkle that over the top, like that. And then we're going to just. Is that it? That's it. Pop the lid on. Now, closing your vent keeps the moisture inside, so we don't want that to happen because it'll steam your potatoes. So we're going to leave the vent open, and that's what gives you the oven effect. Oh, nice. And it dries it out, and your potatoes come out nice and crisp, and just like they would baked in the oven. I so, love rice potatoes. Yeah. yeah. So are we doing with that? that? Okay, now, what's next? These are a real favourite in my kitchen. Whenever I do these chicken in voltini, all of a sudden everyone wants to come over for dinner. <laughs> so they've got to be pretty good. I just need you to chop up the parsley for me. Yeah. How fine, Chef? Uh, quite fine. Yeah. I'm going to use chicken breast for this. You can use chicken thighs, but chicken breast is leaner and it's healthier for you. And can I use part of your chopping board? You may. And I'm just going to slice it in a horizontal way like this so that you end up with a nice yeah. thin slice like that. And we do quite a few of them. Now, you don't actually have to just use chicken for this either. You can use veal or you can use pork or you can, they're in mortinis which you can use any, any cut of meat really. There we so go, that's parsley done. Parsley done, thank you. You can pop that all in there. And what we've got here, we've got, we've got parsley, we've got some parmesan cheese. That goes all in there. And we've got breadcrumbs, fresh breadcrumbs and some grated garlic. Now you don't have to put any salt in this because you've got your parmesan cheese and that's quite salty. Mix that all through. Pour a little bit of the oil in the plate. And it's always nice to use a good brand olive oil. Mm -hmm. And we just, and then we pop it in there. And we just, that's ah. why they're called involtini because you just roll them up like that. And you make a whole lot of them in there. This would be one of those good ones to get lots of people in the kitchen, get a little production line going. That's right. And you can also put inside of these, if you like, you can put some ham or you can put asparagus. Yeah, or, asparagus you know, would be nice. Yeah. So you just roll them all up like this. Now we've got some flour here in a bowl. And what we do with that, we just coat it in your flour. So you end up with little parcels that look like that. So you can make a whole lot of them and just line them all up. And because we haven't used the ham inside, we're going to roll them up with the prosciutto. The prosciutto is a very popular uh, thing used in a lot of cooking. These are going to be yum. Now you can also cook these on top of the stove, but I'm actually going to put them in the oven. Uh, so Would if we're going like to put... The oven yes, on. please. Yep. 180? Mm-hmm. Now, it doesn't even matter if you get them in different sizes because you get people that want the bigger ones and you get people that want smaller ones so they can choose whatever size they want. People and like you just me. keep going down and you just fill them all in. Pop them in the oven for 180 for about 35, 40 minutes. Yep. And they're cooked with some nice roast potatoes. They make a really nice dinner party. That's a great guests. evening meal with no time whatsoever. That's right. That took, that would take 15 minutes I reckon to prep and then half an hour to cook where you can relax a little That's bit. That's right. And then you've got a great dinner. Nice glass of wine and you're as happy as Larry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's keep going because four is definitely not going to be No, no, we'll keep, we'll keep going. Yeah. There you go, Chef. That's a bit better. 
That's more of a meal than the four we had in there. That's right, and we're going to put some of the breadcrumbs on the top. And then no lid? No lid in the oven, 35, 40 minutes. And you don't even need to turn them over. That is that easy. All right. That is my kind of meal. Simple, I know it's going to be yummy. I cannot wait. Roast potatoes, a little chicken and zucchini. It's so roast potatoes. Oh, yum. The brownie and Oh, they are too. Yeah. That's them to get nice and brown and we'll serve them up with a chicken in rotini. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for halving my time in the kitchen again. Last time you taught me how to make little pikelets which made life easier in the morning. Now you've showed me how to make life easier in the evening. <laughs>